Good evening, everybody, and you already know what it is. It's the Cover Boy Chronicles, and thank you so much for coming and just enjoying my show and viewing my show at least. I would like to see some comments and some likes, a few things of that nature. But, um, I don't push. Do it on your own time. Whatever takes my be. But, um, Today, I decided to do a review with the Fashion Police Twist. And I know you guys, if you've been watching it on my uh, my live page, which I like the fact that you guys have been kind of doing continuity, go to my live page um, and just like uh, do things that you've been doing on there. But I did my little, my, uh, my Folk Train Awards review, but I didn't do my Fashion Police show train, uh, Folk Train Award review. So, we'll kick things off with how they would do it on the uh, fashion police, of course. And so we start off with the five must-be looks of the night. And I felt, and these were all, of course, personally picked by the law. So, I felt that one of the top looks of the night was Ashanti. Now, I felt that her outfit I love the idea of it, and, and, and here's why. I, I love the fact that, you know, it shows, it, it's like one of those almost naked outfits, because you have the lady from Thor, and you have um, uh, Rihanna, you have a lot of people, Sierra, who have the, the, the just about naked look in their dresses um, this year, so I see where she was going, she was trying to stay in trend. But, the, the execution of the dress, I just feel like if it was like like some type of uh, 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 sexy suit, if you will, it would have been really cute for her. And she could curl up her hair, you know, do something really nice, you know, culture mix or whatever the case may be, switch it up for, for us, Ashanti. But I did not, like, I didn't like the fact that you cut it off at one point and it comes down and you could almost see you know, um, the Garden of Eden, and I, and nobody wants to see her garden, and like, if the, the, the dress didn't have proper lining, you would be able to see her, you know, and I'm like, you know, Ashanti, a lot of people don't like your voice, and one would think that at least people would like you for your fashion, and a few of your fashions are known, to just be a sex symbol, and I understand that there's nothing wrong with being a sex symbol, but there's a certain way of doing it with a little bit of class, and I just, I don't think that that dress was class, and you'll see why later on in the show. My number four was uh, Jennifer Hudson. Now, you guys remember when I was talking about Jennifer Hudson, I said that her dress like uh, her dress for the um, American Music Awards. I felt like her dress needed to show her skin tone. It needed to be a, a really nice dress. And um, if I hadn't put her in one of the five musty looks, I would have put her in another ca category that I had opened up. And I called that the cultural mix. But um, I'll talk more about that later on in the show. So um, I felt that this was the dress that Jennifer Hudson needed to, to wear. Because it was, this is like what I always say, this is the Jennifer Hudson dress. It's a short dress, it shows her great skin tone, it accentuates her body, she looks fabulous, she looks stunning, she looks like, and uh, she looks like a golden gold winner, she looks like a, um, a, a, a Oscar winner, she looks like a Grammy winner, you know what I'm saying? She looks like a winner, and she looks like a performer, she looks like an artist, she looks like a star, you know? That's the thing that you, when you say, I'm wearing a Jennifer Hudson dress, that's what you want to hear. And that, that's why I definitely felt like she had one of the, one of the best dress of the night. Like, I love to hear some Jennifer Hudson. And so I, 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 I definitely have the best and the worst look down pat to a T. Then, my number three look was Gladys Knight. She had on this really nice, um, red uh, uh, dress and it cuts you right at the knees and you know you can't see nothing because she's a classy lady and that's what I mean like she even had the uh, she, she had the girls out you know what I'm saying like that is not, that is not a 
Well, she was, yeah, it was Brett. Like, Red, Red is becoming of her. Like, Red is very becoming of her. And I just, I felt like she just looked really beautiful. Almost like a glam queen, if you will. Like, she just looked really breathtaking. Like, her stage performance, her stage, her stage outfit, and her actual dress. Like, she just looked amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, another person, my number two, who looked amazing in their dress, and I felt like I could just breathe again. Of course, you know the person that brought you the song, Tony Braxton. I felt that her. Her nakedness was actually very, 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 very um, awesome. And then she presented her sister uh, singing that night, and she did an amazing job. And um, I just, I, I felt like, you know, and I know Tony was, like, really happy at her accomplishments and the fact that, you know, she was able to help her sister, and she was able to, I'm here for you, whatever the case may be. Like, Hunger. I, I'm pretty sure that they had a whole shout and moment into that. But definitely, Tony looked it amazing. She was so amazing. She was breathtaking when I could breathe again. Um, now, my number one must-be look of the night was Faith Evans. I felt like her dress, like she looked like the First Lady. Like everybody knows her as the First Lady. And she looked like the First Lady. Like... If you're wearing something sexy, I love the fact that when women wear something uh, something sexy and it's form fitting and it, and, it, and it fits their their uh, signature curves and, and makes the girls look really perky, you know, and just sets everything up just right, you know. I love the fact that a lot of women know how to put their sex appeal and and, and appeal it in a very mature manner. And when you see that in a lot of these young girls, they don't know how they do it. But Faith Evans, you look like a lady and I live for the way you dress and you were just, oh, oh, I love you girl, I love you girl, keep doing it. And oh, by the way, when you have your hair pressed down, like flat on and things of that nature, um, like, I think that's like one of your best looks. I just love that look about you, either the blonde look. I do like red hair face, but like other than that, I, I love you blown out to completely straight hair. You look amazing. Okay, now I have um, three categories. I actually have four categories, um, just uh, kind of similar to the fashion police. And so my first one that I, I definitely had to do was the bold and black. So the people that were absolutely fabulous and brought out their bold black look, because just about everybody wore black, I will say that. But, like, for those who wore black and just, just accentuated it and made it look completely and utterly just flawless and sexy, I just lived. Um, first person I'm going to say, Vivica A. Fox. Baby, you look like a fox. You're, you're, you fit your name. That name goes without saying. When you look at Viv Kate Fox, you know that you're going to see something completely sexy, something that's jaw dropping. Like, you know, like, Ashanti, this is what you needed to wear. If you wear something sexy, you know, or whatever the case may be, take them out from, from uh, Viv Kate Fox. That's a completely sexy woman. She, she pushes up her boobs. You know, she keeps her, um, her tone thick. You know, she has a nice ass. So, so Vivica wears it the fudge out. Like, she wears it out. So, of anything, I, I would definitely say, you know, I, I definitely say she had one of the best looks of the night. She definitely had one of the best looks of the night. And um, moving forward into the category was uh, a person that I, you know, I love to death. Was Christette Michelle, you know, I love little, the little, uh, clock out pencil, uh, the little Bobby doll pencil skirt and, the, uh, the top, the rocker edge top with the red heels. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. She's completely swagged out. Like, you could not get any swaggier than that, honey. You, you rock that. You rock that. Um, another person that looks incredibly awesome in their red carpet look and just owned it in bold and black. But Shaka Khan. Honey! 
I want some boots. So bad. Oh my God, I want her boots. Like, I felt like for me, Chaka Khan's boots, like, just put her on. <laughs> like, her boots, like, they were all the way up here. Like, Chaka Khan had, oh my God, those boots. Like, I fell in love. I, like, I love her dress, don't get me wrong. Her black dress was beautiful, and you know, I'm a firm believer in a woman in a little black dress. Every woman needs to have one. It's a little black dress, a little black suit, whatever. Something black. Hot. And um, I just feel like, for me, her little black dress was completely awesome. It shows the girl and, 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 and put it, her in, in a spot, in, uh, in a spotlight, if you will. But them shoes, honey, I think they stole the show with you as the, I definitely, if I could say best shoes of the night, went to Shaka Khan. Baby, you wore that out. You wore that out. You, you put some girls to shame, honey. You better work. Now, you guys heard me talking about when I said in the monthly look. Um, you haven't talked to me about the cultural mix. And when I say cultural mix, I mean a lot of people wear black. Not too many people want to wear white. A few people want to wear gray. So, with that being said, I think, you know what? Let me go ahead and mix it up and show you guys how they can mix up their colors. So, another person to me that wore the black and white look really exceptionally well was um, Janelle Monet. And she looked, that, that's just. To me, that's her look. That's her signature look. If you if you ask me like about Janelle Monae, you know, suit and tie, like homegirl always rocks it, but she looks very clean, very, very, very electric lady in in a way. And like she just she looks so amazing and I just she just looks like the electric lady, like her title. She looks like who she was. Um Nicole Ari Parker, um, I felt like, you know, the, the high short was risque, but very, very classy. Like, they weren't Daisy Dukes, but they weren't, like, traditional female shorts, if you will. Like, they were, they were low enough to where she could have, you know, if, if she had camel toe, you can't tell. <laughs> I was a boy for the rabbit. And, and speaking of boys, I was jealous because I wanted those pink pants. I want those pink pants. But I'm going to have to check you out because I like those pink pants. Those were some cute, cute pants. But um, he was in my culture a minute. So, um, I, I, and another person that kind of had a, a nice look to me was, was uh, Debbie Allen. And uh, you know I love me from this dear bear Allen. I, I, I love me from this dear bear Allen. Like, I, 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 I sit and watch things like every day. <laughs> I love me from, I love me from Debbie Allen. But, um, like, I, I love when she looks flawless and effortless and just, just it looks like she, she, it's not business as usual. And for me, Debbie Allen is, a, is, a, is an amazing, t a, amazingly gifted woman. You know, she's got numerous Emmys for her dancing. She's got, um, she's an actress. You know, she can blow. Like, you know, this, this is a, a multi-talented woman. And, like, I just love seeing her in a nice, flowy, beautiful dress. I, I, I have, I, I'm all in favor for her wearing the dress. But, when you see Debbie Allen and she does the business as usual look like I just felt like you know she just she was giving business for the realness I, I love Miss Debbie Allen like I said but just business for the realness is what I have to say about her um so um I, I had an extra um category to my lineup and I felt like, um, you know, men don't really get recognized. So for my men viewers, because I do got a little few of them too. Um, for my men viewers, I added a category. And it's called Dapper Dance. And um, these men basically, even though they wore suits or they wore like the blazers or whatever the case, they looked dapper in their execution 
as a man, as a uh, performer, or as an actor, or whatever the case may be, it was amazing. So, starting it off on the right foot, I felt the perfect man to embody what I was talking about for Raheem Devon. Like, that's all I got to say about Raheem. Like, yeah, it was two people that made me feel like that. It was him, it was Bobby V. I, I ain't even gonna lie. But like, like, I just, I live for him. He just, I mean, kept looking for glitch just a little bit. Cause you know, but, uh, uh, but he, the vibe, he got them big ass, so cooler lips. Like, I know I'm one to talk, but he has some so coolers. And baby, I love me from Ryan the vibe. Like, you play any of his albums, I will love you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. But, he hit the, um, he hit the mark for me. Ruben Stutter, he completely hit the mark for me. Like, he looked slim. He looked like the biggest loser was doing a lot for him, and he's not losing at all. Like, he's losing weight, but he's not losing Ruben. And that's the one thing that made me want to put Ruben in this countdown, because Ruben has been doing a lot of stuff, and I'm, I'm completely proud of him, and I'm so glad, because one person, I did vote for him way back when, you know, that was when I was like a teenager, now I'm in my early 20s, so like, Ruben, continue doing you, I can't wait for your album to come out, I'm really excited about that. Then, like I said, Bobby D, you know, had me a little, like, no, he just a little chest and wink, oh, I love that, for me, I love Bobby Valentino's smile, I, I love that, I love Bobby Valentino with his smile, and his curly hair, like, I just, I love me some Bobby D, love me some Bobby D, and I'm glad that he's kind of getting a little buzz. I can, I can live for that. I can, I can get that. I can definitely get that. Another person that embodies a dapper band that I was not expecting to do it. But I was just, you know, I'll put him on the list because I feel like he did, he did really well. And he kind of showed for us, you know, for, for people like me. You know, he kind of represented Lorenz Tate. And he was an extremely great, gifted actor back way back when and now that he's moving on with his career I don't know what else he's doing I don't know if he's like an Omar X if you will but um I just I definitely feel like Lawrence Tate is like one of the great one a, one a really great actor that hasn't really you know came back out with something but I'm glad I'm all in favor of pulling something out of the closet that she just oh I just put this together I love that I love that love that love that, love that so very much love it oh my god yeah. And then the last person that I wanted to kind of just let everybody know that I thought was a dapper man was, um, was definitely Eric Benet. I like the striped look. I love that for him. I just, I, ugh. Only person I thought they were missing that night was Brian McKnight. I just, I, oh my god. Just, just, just to have a flashback to the 90s was just so breathtaking. The only difference was I, you can't really picture Ed Renee with his dress now. And he's just made such a, a monumental look with his haircut. <laughs> I just feel like it looks amazing. So, um, people that I put in the spotlight that I felt like were just so in the spotlight category. I felt like Dion Warwick, she wore an endless, timeless, um, beautiful dress that just it, it didn't need to accentuate her, it just showed that she was a glowing, golden woman who was being honored as a legend that night. And I just felt like she was just amazing. And I would put her in the cultural mix, but definitely the fact that she was an amazing woman for the night. Another amazing woman that I felt did it that night was Keisha Knight Pump. Oh my gosh, it's like so awesome to see, but like, like, I know I'm young, but, like, it's so awesome to see Rudy. Like, I love me some Rudy. Miss Rudy Huxtable. Pardon me. I love me some Rudy Huxtable. But she was just, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Like, that little blue, the little blue dress. Like, we want to talk about the little black dress, honey. But that little blue dress that you got to have, honey. It's somewhat of a requirement. Hers was just, like, Damn, you just okay, you had she was good, she got it. She did that. Um 
Another person that I felt embodied a really great spotlight moment was uh, Candace Glover. And for me, she's going a lot of great places in, in her career. And um, I like for her, I like the fact that her first red carpet look, for her first major red carpet look, because you're being put, you're, you're performing for Dionne Warwick, you're performing with Ruben Stutter, you're performing with, um, you're performing with Ruben Stutter, Ronald Isaac, Christette Michelle, um, Gladys Knight, um, Eric Benet, uh, Eddie the Bird, like the list goes on. This woman is doing a lot of great things for her career. And I say that that was the best first red carpet look that you could ever see for Candace Cover. So I say congratulations to her. And I'm going to go ahead and nominate my three best dress for the night. Now, I've got a few seconds, ten seconds, to say to my new cover lovers how I feel about um, these best dressed women or nominees. And the nominees are um, Candace Glover. I felt like she just was one of the best dressed of the night. Like this was like one of the best dresses that she could have ever wear or I just feel like it was the greatest thing that she could have ever wore. It was just so awesome. It was so great. It was so great. It was so awesome. Sorry. But yes, it was awesome. Um, another person that had a great look was Vivica A. Fox. And Vivica A. Fox was just so great. She, her form fitting, just the way that her execution, and she had um, just the, the girls was out, and her hair was pulled back, and you know that's the Jessica Rab uh, that's the Jessica Rabbit slash uh, Vivica A. Fox that we always love. Uh, when she pulls her hair back, and then when she lets her head down, and she gets that ooh look. I love that look. I love that look on her. Keep representing, girl. Do you? Um, then, of course, my uh, other, my third would be Jennifer Hudson, just embodied uh, global, glo Golden Globe winner, definitely embodied an Oscar winner, definitely embodied um, a Grammy winner, definitely embodied a star. So I definitely say that out of um, a lot of women, she was like definitely one of the women that was dressed to kill for the night. So. Who do I give my best dress to? Well, I definitely say that it should definitely be Jennifer Hudson because she looks like an amazing star. I felt like she just, she just, this was the dress. This was the dress for Jennifer Hudson. It was, it was fine. Now, I thought that um, my worst dress, I should have three, but I could, I, I do what that means. That I thought that looked didn't that didn't look great. And in my words, you ain't got to be a woman to look like this. Having that said, here comes the worst dress nominee. And I thought this was just two types of crazy. Paul uh Kate uh Baxter or uh, Baker. Your suit was absolutely great. But that jacket was just not, not cute. I, I needed you, and then to have a nerve to be sparkly. Girl, take that off immediately. Never wear that again. Burn it. Sorry, I'm not being great. Then, my um, other worst stress nominee was a shock to me. I just feel like it was just not the dress for her. Like. It, I like the idea of it. I like the fact that it hit her on the side. It was very curvy. It, sh it, it accentuates her um, her curves, and I'm all about accentuating a woman's curve. And it would have been in the culture mix. But I just felt like you can see you can see her her triangle part. I'll put it like that. You see her triangle part, her nature, her whatever the case may be. If the lining wasn't put in there the right way. So my worst dress of the night had to go to, I'm sorry, Ashanti. I just felt like your outfit or dress was just, it, it just was not where you needed to be. You were coming back from Broadway after five years. You should have looked like a complete star. 
and just for me, I just didn't feel like you embodied it. So be sure to tweet the show and cover lovers, cover boy chronicles, um, my Facebook, my like page. I love the buzz that I've been getting from my like page. Um, be sure to hit me up on my Instagram, um, my Twitter, and subscribe and hit the like button on my uh, YouTube, okay? So, uh, thank you guys so much for another amazing review. Um, be sure to watch my uh, Bad Girls Club review. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, nothing's going to stop me from doing that tomorrow. If it, hopefully if it's not too, too late. Because I know I hate doing late shows. But I, I'm, I'm really happy where I'm going with these shows. So um, definitely watch this show. And um, let me know your feedback. Comment, like, and subscribe. So that is all. And have a great day to all.